work on this cost there, um, which is part of our capital project. Next. Our debt is verified through our capital debt with the debt that we always use to find out should be issued debt for capital projects. The first two are um, bonds that we issue because of our capital projects at the beginning of the century, 2001 and 2002. Those two debts are going to uh, mature next year. Um, well, next year will have uh, maybe the last year of payments. The following one is um, the capital debt for a small bond that we did in about 2011, $4.6 million. The following one is um, debt that we did for infrastructure. It was infrastructure, technology, and policies. That debt has two different uh, maturities. We wanted to match our assets with our liabilities, so um, the technology portion we financed it at seven years because back then we thought that seven years was the time that we needed to um, match the, the asset and the liability, meaning that the life of the asset was only uh, was only seven years. Uh, fortunately, we have found out that uh, technology gets obsolete a lot faster than seven years. So we already have been spending a lot of money in replacing uh, all the switches and servers that we bought back then. And then the last one is the $18.5 million capital project that uh, we finished a couple of years ago. Um, that uh, that day we are still doing bond anticipation notes because I'm waiting for a higher state date. In the moment that we get a higher state date, then I'll convert it into a long-term bond. Next. Every year we have. Um, uh, proposition for bosses, that's how we finance our bosses. Um, uh, so we finance our full bosses with bond anticipation notes, one year bonds. Uh, last year, this year we paid for the last five years. Uh, so next year we're only having one bond, which is the the money that we raise to buy the vehicles for this year. Next. <coughs> the way we finance our desktops and Chromebooks and um, all our technology in the classroom is through computer releases. The original idea back in 2008 was uh, to have a cycle of six years. So every school, uh, every school will have uh, uh, will buy computers one year, so they will last six years, and then on the sixth year we will buy the office suite for Microsoft. So five years for computers and equipment, and one year for software. Um, as you can see. Furnace woods, and then uh, we go three. Unfortunately, or fortunately, because of COVID, we decided to switch that. Um, the last two years, what we have bought were Chromebooks, and the servers that um, didn't last the seven years that we were expecting. So now, um, next year, we're going to try to, to go back to our six year cycle. And next year is the high school uh, turn to, to buy equipment for the classroom. Next. We have uh, another type of debt, and that's the energy performance contract. Uh, back in 2010, uh, we spent $2.6 million in 
making the, the district more efficient in terms of electricity, oil, utilities. So the idea, the idea was that with the savings that we have from, uh, from electricity and oil and all our, all our utilities, we will pay for the debt. Actually, yesterday during finance committee, they asked me to see, to know how we do, how, how we know that uh, the savings are there. The board has in front of them uh, a yearly audit that we get from Siemens to show all, the whole story that they do to be sure that um, we are saving enough to pay for the debt because in a year that it hasn't happened that we don't save enough, they have to pay us back the difference. But yeah, you can see in your audit uh, report, I think it's from last year or, or from two years ago, how in debt they look at the savings compared to our cost of debt. And finally, back in 2011, due to the prior to the financial crisis and the fact that um, homes and businesses uh, were the, their value was substantially lower we had a lot of uh, tax stories and we didn't have the money to pay it so we issued two tax sorry bonds one that matured last year and um, this one that will mature uh, next year next so here you have our whole total debt profile. Um, like any company, uh, we don't have a, a credit rating from uh, Moody's or s and but we have a credit rating from the state of New York. Our credit rating is at the top. Uh, our total debt that we could incur uh, for the state of New York is over a hundred million dollars and, and as you can see our total debt is way below that amount. Um, so that's uh, that's the debt of our school district. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions for Enrique? Oh, I was just wondering, do we anticipate when we're going to be having that higher state aid that you were speaking about? Is that something that's well, going to be up Well, in, normal way, in a normal cycle, it takes three years. Uh, Joe and I have been um, talking to all our legislators, to everyone, to see if they can push that those three years beforehand. Um, so far, obviously, we can have no success, but hopefully you know, it can happen for next year, or if not, we'll have to wait for two years. All right, so the most would be two years from now. Okay. And the other question I had was, um, with the computer leases, I'm not, I, I'm not sure what the DW stands for on that slide. Um, DW, district-wide. Oh, district-wide, okay. And so when does the high school come into the rotation? Next year. Next year. And who that middle school is? The middle school will be the following year. Will be a different the following year. The following year. Okay, thank you. Yes. On the energy performance contracts, have the, I don't know what you call them, the sponsors of these, have they ever had to pay out because the savings wasn't no. enough? No. Um, uh, our savings are way ahead of uh, our cost of debt. When I started here in 2008, we were paying in utilities about a million two. After the energy performance contract, it went down to 900,000. Even though we started buying smart boards, we started buying more computers per class, so their base is by the number of people who kill one hours. Because if not, obviously we spend more money now than we spent in 2018 in, in, in power, just because of the computer.
computers, the servers, everything else. So that's why the story is so thick, because they have to be able to compare apples to apples. Since then also, obviously, we, we found a lot more than just the APC. We did the, the solar panels. And, uh, the cost of electricity from the solar panels are a lot cheaper compared to the compared to NIPA. Also, at one point, we did um, a, a, a program where we thought all the students and teachers and employees uh, how to turn on the lights, how to turn off the lights. Um, and then next year, we're going to start with another uh, EPC. In, in the primary EPC, we move from um, regular light bulbs to fluorescent. Now we're going to move to LEDs. So there's still ways to go to, to be able to save the money. And they are doing the study. And they started the study job in October, no? And they are still doing the study to be sure that the savings are going to be there. Because if not, they'll have to pay us back. Thank you, Anybody else have any questions? Thank you, Anike.